Welcome back boys and girls, it's your boy Kieran from Rummage Around and today guys we are going charity shop hunting. Absolutely wicked, I'm really really excited. I have got a couple of days off work so expect a few, well I'm going to be recording a lot of videos which I can drip and drab out throughout the next coming weeks. There's my box N64, there's my box GameCube, we're on to a winner. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding dong that bell so you get notified when I do upload in the future. Also, I do go live randomly, but I always go live on a Tuesday at eight o'clock, the Fatal 4-Way, so be sure to tune into that as well. So without further ado, guys, let's get car booting. Not car booting, let's get charity shop hunting. Cue the intro. <laughs> Well, we had a fairly successful trip for a Boston trip anyway. Uh, we've got a nice few bits and pieces. We've got a few board games, a few VHSs, a few trainers, a few computer parts, which I've never dived in myself. So hopefully we can learn together about the computer parts. And our first ever DVD recording unit, which is an absolute bolo again. 
So yeah, so let's get on with it. Let's start with the board games. We've got a nice Cat's Mansion board game. Paid a pound, uh, fully complete. You're looking at about 20, 25 quid. Don't know if I should save it for Christmas now. I'm really not sure what to do with the board games yet. Let me know in the comments section below what you would, what you are doing with board games or what I should do with board games. Save them for Christmas now or just put them on at Christmas prices or just get rid of them. So we've got Cat's Mansion. This is a nice one to look out for, guys. If you can see this in the charity shops, if it's about a quid, you can easily flip it for 20. Uh, paid up massively for this, but at the moment, this version of Cluedo is going for 20 quid. I paid £5 from British Heart Foundation. So yeah, it's a Waddington's Cluedo from the 80s. I think it's 80s. Uh, I think it is 80s. I can't see a date on it. I think when I did research in the shop, it was actually 80s. So yeah, you're looking at about 20 quid, 22 pound for this one. Uh, again, Cluedo is a nice seller throughout the whole year. So again, please let me know in the comment section below what I should do with my board games. Then picked up some bundles or some VHSs, which we will bundle up. We paid 10p each for all of these. So... Each one of these owes me 10p, and we've got about eight of them. So we've got three Eric Clapton ones. I thought about bundling this up, so you've got Eric Clapton, The Cream Of. Uh, goes for about £3 on its own. We've got Eric Clapton, Live in 85. I absolutely love Eric Clapton myself. And Eric Clapton, Concert 1986. Uh, I've seen some go on eBay for £15 for three, so I'm going to aim for £15. That is including postage. So not massive money, but I'm only paying 30p. For, for that bundle itself so 30p into 15 quid you can't grumble i know there's certain uh vhs's that are worth a lot of money obviously the big x rental ones and some musician ones and some football ones so we picked up a bundle of west ham so if any of you guys are west ham fans i've got four here which i'll probably bundle up for 15 quid as well we have harry's hit squad again 10p the official history of West Ham United, which is in, these are all in really, really good condition. I've got a big box one here, which is absolutely massive. I have no idea what this is, so I need to do a bit of research. But we've got the, the final farewell to Trevor Brookin. I believe he was, he was a bit of a bit of a beast in his day for West Ham. And we also got Hammers 1989, no, 1998 to 1999 season. So I'm probably going to bundle them four up and sell them for about 15, 20 quid. I'll probably go for 15 just for a quick sell. And then we've got the Bobby Moore story. Bobby Moore is an absolute legend. Great player for England. Um, this is the life and career of the football legend, Bobby Moore. Might have to give it a watch myself first. I'm a massive fan of VHSs anyway. I've got a VHS set up in my, in my office. So yeah, I will give this a watch. What a legend. Don't know if it's worth selling on its own or what, but we'll do some research. And obviously I will have a circle thing down here or down there to see how much it is. I'll probably say about a fiver plus postage. But yeah, there is some money in VHSs. There's a lot of money in the VHS recorded players. So make sure you keep an eye out. If you see a VHS player, pick it up. We'll move on to my favourite pickup of the day. And that's a B&O tape deck recorder. This is absolutely beautiful. Stunning. It's a uh, Bang and Olfsen, uh, BO Chord 4500. This is the tape deck. You then have the vinyl player, the amplifier and the speakers. A full set of this, uh, this model. You're looking at about two and a half thousand pounds and that is pre-owned. Uh, the vinyl player is worth 500 pounds. The speakers are worth 750 and the amp's worth about 750. I think this is only worth about 100 or 150, but I actually got this from a cash generators. They wanted 20 quid. It, they said it tested and worked, and I've got it at home and it tested and works. It also comes with a month's warranty, which I can put in my eBay description because if it doesn't work, uh, I've got a month, so they can always send it back. But yeah, I'm going to aim for about £100, fully completed, fully works, really, really happy. Again, guys, top tip, go and have a look at your cash generators, have a look at your cash converters. They do have some bolos in there, and sometimes they don't price things up correctly. But again, guys, it is literally luck of the dwarf. Luck of the dwarf. Luck of the dwarf, luck of the draw. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely have a look at cash generators. And guys, this is the brand you want to be looking out for. B&O, cracking brand. This is very, very heavy, very, very well made. And yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to, I would love to complete the set and keep it for myself, but I just don't have two and a half grand to spend on something like that. The next charity shop we went to was a local one and it was a cats and dogs sort of, uh, animal rescue one picked up some vhs's again we've got meatloaf bat out of hell we've got aha the hits of 
and we've got meatloaf live back in the day this was 11 pound so again i'm going to probably bundle up the meatloafs together probably get seven pounds 750 plus postage and aha greatest hits really really not sure but these guys have got some right tunes take on me is probably the most well-known one uh cry wolf is a good one touchy is also a good one so yeah aha is brilliant and from the same uh charity shop we picked up this i've never picked up a dvd recorder as you can see it records the dvds good brand panasonic if it's fully tested and working you can probably get about 60 pound for this um simply because it is a recording one they're very rare, very rare this is the dmr e 27 22 7 sorry they're right there and you're probably looking at about 60 quid if this is fully working and completed i paid four pound maybe three pound actually i think i actually paid three pound i think she said five pound um, and then she was like, hang on, is it a DVD? And I said, yeah. She was like, oh, DVD players are three quid. I picked it up for three quid, I think it was. So yeah, three quid into 60 for a DVD recorder. If you see these in the wild, pick them up. Definitely if they're Panasonic and Sony, because that's it's the brand. The brand sells this sort of stuff all day long. So as you know, guys, I'm a big Arsenal fan. And I saw these magazines, well, not magazines, they're actually programmes. I picked up Arsenal. They're all from the 2012-2013 series. Series season, same thing. Uh, paid 10p each for these. Probably going to send sell them as a, I don't know, £7, £10. I really don't know. I've got five altogether. So even if you said £2 pound of, a two pound of a magazine, that's still some good profit. They're really, really good condition. The magazines are in all of them, which is, you know, good seller. We've had some players. I mean, Rambo, what a player. There's links of him coming back to Arsenal this season because uh, Juventus don't want him. But yeah, so probably get about, if you said £2 per one, probably £10 plus a bit of postage. And then we picked up this, which I've never picked up before. A Yamaha VR46 vest. Just looks really cool. Uh, number 46. I think it's some sort of like motocross, maybe BMX uh, T-shirt. Probably looking at about... 15 20 quid on that i did pay up a bit i paid four pound 70 but i just wanted to test the market see what this market's got to offer but yeah if you can get them cheap enough definitely but this again four pound 70 into probably about 15 18 pounds so not very good at all really actually it's atrocious so don't pick them up so this next shop is another um one of them charity shops that are very independent and relies on people coming in the shop so they did a sort of reopening store uh, everything was half the marked price let's start off with these these were actually my first pair of trainers slash shoes that i ever brought to resell they're actually got the steel clippers on there which are really cool these are lokes guys if you ever see a pair of lokes at a decent price pick them up you can get 50 quid pushing 60 depending on size depending on model didn't actually realize these had these on it so they might actually be even more than that so but yeah you're looking at about they're made in england which is really cool which is why they demand so much money made in england real leather real quality shoe guys again lokes remember the name loke if you find these i paid 10 pound but obviously everything was 50% off, so I only paid a fiver. So I'm probably looking at about 50 quid for these. Both in really nice condition, really spot on. A lot of sort of lot of wear left. You know, you can even see the loke in the actual bottom of the shoe, which you really can't see on most of them. So yeah, a lot of wear left, really good condition. Probably gonna aim for 50, maybe even 60. Might push 60. We then got these RAM sticks from the Shames shop. These are Crucial RAM sticks. I know a lot about computers. Um, the This one is four gig, probably looking at about 20 quid, 25 quid. And this lot is 10 gig, so I'm looking at about 30 quid. I paid £2.50 for each. So 30 plus 20, that's 50 quid from a fiver, 10 times of my money. That's what we're all about here at Rummage Around. And then I picked up this Microsoft joystick signed winder thing i bundle these up with the game like a flight slimmer game and i normally get about 15 20 quid for it especially over at christmas time especially during lockdown as well i was getting about 18 pound for this plus a game i tend to bundle up with any joystick but a microsoft one good brand and it really really good condition there's not a single mark on it at all so yeah 18 pound hopefully if not 15 quid but that is the haul so we've got a lot of good stuff
And there we have it, boys and girls. Really good haul. Lots of new stuff to test the water of. I'll absolutely love them, Lokes. That's what we're all about. It's how I started my business, selling shoes and trainers. So it's good to have the Lokes back in. Got a nice bit of DVD rewriting recording software. Fair bit of VHS as well. Just testing the waters on what sells really well on VHS because they're always about. And when you can pick them up for 10p, it's an absolute no-brainer. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button. If you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. Remember to ding-dong that bell, boys and girls. It's very important. If you ding dong that bell, you'll get notified when I do upload. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, boys and girls. Bye. Just want to say a massive thank you for watching the video and the massive support you've shown me throughout my, well, reselling career. So if you did enjoy that video, please smash that like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you soon.